Waylon, you're being a turd. Hey guys, it's Hannah and today I am doing a book haul from my trip to Maine. I have been very fortunate this year and I have been able to take more than just one trip. Normally my family is able to take one trip per summer, we usually do a road trip, and that's it. And I love it and it's great, but this year I was able to go on more than one trip, which never happens and was amazing. If you want to see my book hauls for my other two trips this year, I'll leave them linked down below as well as in corners and stuff. But this one is from Maine. So we went to Maine and we stayed in Aurora. And then every day we'd drive down to Acadia National Park and we'd hike or we'd kind of just like look around and I bought some books. We also flew in and out from Boston and on our way back we looked around Boston for a little bit and so I bought some books in Boston too. I also bought one from Cincinnati slash Kentucky and you'll see what I mean in a second. So the first book I bought is from Two Brothers Books. It is in Freeport, Maine because like I said we flew into Boston so we drove to Orono the first day and as we were driving we look over and we see a sign that says you used bookstore so we pulled over to go find it and it was the two brothers bookstore and there was a cat at the bookstore which I love and I bought a picture book for Nancy Drew it's the secret of the twin puppets I don't know if I ever read the actual book of this but I'm collecting Nancy Drew books I've never seen this before so I bought it and it's just illustrated it's an illustrated Nancy Drew book and I love it the next books I got were from a place called Big Chicken Barn Books and Antiques but I mostly focused on the book section and down Downstairs it had a bunch of antiques and then upstairs it had a whole bunch of books and it was beautiful and fantastic. And so I bought two books there. The first one I got was Summer with the Bears, Six Seasons in the North Woods by Jack Beckland. This book is about a husband and wife who live somewhere where there are black bears. <laughs> and one day one comes up to the back porch and they start feeding it stuff and they become friends with it, I think, essentially, in a way. I, if you don't know, I love bears, which is why, just a second, I got this mug in Maine and it's got a bear on it and I bought it because it has a bear on it. So I just, I love bears. Bears are my favorite animal. And I thought this sounded interesting, so I got it. And the next book I got, also funnily enough, has bears in it, um, and that is The Thirteen and a Half Lives of Cat Captain Blue Bear, a novel. And the reason I got this is because it says equal parts J.K. Rowling, Douglas Adams, and Shel Silverstein. So if it's described with those three authors, why am I not gonna buy it? So it's huge. It's almost 700 pages long. And I don't know when I'll get to it, but I'm excited to get to it just because Douglas Adams, guys. Doug Douglas Adams. And apparently there are also illustrations, so gonna take a quick book break here to show you some of the other stuff I got. I got this at the Acadia National Park Visitor Center and I got some bookmarks and then like a little poster. So the first bookmark I'm going to show you I actually own somewhere but I cannot find it for the life of me and so I went ahead and got a replacement. I bought the first one up in Idaho and this one at Acadia and it is Advice from a Bear. I love these Advice from bookmarks. I have, well I used to have Advice from a Bear, I now have a replacement and then I have Advice from an Owl and Advice from Meow Wolf, which is an art museum in New Mexico and I just I love them because they're so funny so in addition to buying this one I got two others so now I also have advice from the ocean and advice from a porcupine and then I love bears so much that I bought an advice from a bear poster that I'm gonna frame and put in my apartment <laughs> I also got an Acadia National Park pin for my school backpack that is currently temporarily on this denim one that I used for hiking. Back to the books. The next one I got, I got from the Jacep Memorial Library, which is a library, I guess it's a branch um, in Bar Harbor, and they were having a book sale all outside and inside the building, and so I bought some books that I did not need but I wanted, so I bought them, and they are these Trixie Belden books. So I have the first one, which is The Secret of the Mansion, the second one, which is The Red Trailer Mystery, the tenth one, which is The Marshland Mystery, and the eighth one, which is The Black Jacket Mystery. The only one of these I distinctly remember reading is The Secret of the Mansion, but I did read a whole lot of Trixie Belden. I didn't read any with this cover edition, but I really like this cover edition, so I went ahead and bought them. Plus, it supported a good cause. It supports the library. You should always support your library. Next we went to the Commonwealth Bookstore in Boston and I bought a Confederacy of Dunces by John Kennedy Tule. I don't quite know what this book is about but it is on the Great American Read so I've been kind of wanting to read it and so since they had it I decided to pick it up. I've heard it's really funny so I'm excited to get to it but I don't know how soon I will get to it if I'm being honest. And then finally we had a layover. Waylon, don't scratch on that. 
we had a layover in the Cincinnati Kentucky airport and I was looking at the bookstore that they have there and they had the towel version of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I saw this at Book People one time and I was convinced by people who discovered I already owned it to not buy it. So when it was there I had to get it. If you can't tell the book looks like a towel and the tag says 42 and this is like embroidery like if you embroidered your initials or something or your name onto your towel and I love it. So that's it for this book haul. Sorry it was so short. I'm trying to be quick about it because I'm actually moving into my apartment tomorrow as I'm filming this and I got home yesterday as I'm filming this so it's it's a bit of a busy day. Comment down below and let me know if you have been to any of these bookstores in Maine or if you have been to Maine and to Acadia National Park. Acadia National Park is so freaking beautiful and I want to go back ASAP. Also comment down below let me know if these little dots on my face annoyed you because I just now noticed them. Way to go Hannah. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see y'all again another one soon.